Hello, and welcome to another stream of Nocraft 4. Another, this is episode 2. Oh, looks like nothing's changed. <laughs> uh, we'll just get on, get on with what we're doing today. Um, yeah, it's probably good to get these streams out of the way first before I start getting into some too, some heavy stuff. I want to have a bit of a bit of a, an appetizer to the new craft experience. Got plenty done yesterday, so I, I don't know if I'll get as much done today. I want to try and get you know get some let get like our enchanting table in order. We're gonna go for a nice long iron mine, and then we're gonna go for a diamond mine. So today is probably not gonna be super exciting. Just as a forewarning, in case you're expecting anything cool, I'm gonna try my best to, uh, to put the work in here. But if it if the server gets shut down at all, then there'll be some stuff in place just to prevent complete loss. But I'm gonna smelt some of this of this uh, potatoes. I also need to gather some materials for the big rock or the. Uh, bigger base, not quite mega, but a little bit larger than what this currently is like, you know, we'll get some more room to work with. I don't know if I'll get started on that today. I might get started within the next few streams on the base stuff, and we'll kind of just see what happens. I think I'll just chant and get on out to the mountain tops. Okay, enough of the dilly-dallying. Let's, uh, go work our way towards the mountains and see if we can find any coal and iron. That's why I did in Classic Craft. I didn't do it in New Craft 3. I didn't go do the mountain mine because I didn't know where any mountains were. could have just used chunk base, but I was just like, ah, whatever, I'll just do the underground stuff. And that seemed to work well enough for Classic Craft and or maybe for New Craft 3, but I think this will be make for an interesting stream. Well, at least as interesting as you can get with mining. It's a bit of a tricky, bit of tricky terrain. Just chip away at this. Of course, fortune would be nice, but I don't have a max enchanting table yet. So we're gonna wait on that a little bit. I don't have villagers yet, so I'm not being reliant on trading just yet. I don't know. I'll see. I haven't really explored villagers in previous seasons of Newcraft. I've kind of used other people's villagers. I've kind of tinkered myself, but I haven't really done any big villager projects before. So maybe this season will be the one where I start to do stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That's really what a lot of this is dictated by is whatever kind of happens, whatever I decide to do. I would prefer a stone peak mountain, like so we can walk around and my little pick away at it. But I think this one should do this one over here. It's a nice little mountain range anyway. Yeah, like I said, I'll, we'll kind of introduce the members as they join. And kind of get acquainted and kind of understand the other members a little bit. And I'm going to, I plan on doing kind of a an interesting base concept that I haven't really seen elsewhere. It's kind of in lieu of Green's entity, but it's a bit different. Maybe it'll be based around a rock. I'm not sure. But I kind of want it to be like something that ha it's just kind of a weird thing that has stuff attached to it. So it's kind of like the entity, but I'm going to take it another, to another level, of course, because that's what I do with a lot of stuff. I just kind of take it at face value, and I'm like, we're going to make this like how I would do it. And it's going to be a lot more chaotic, I'm sure. Something to look forward to. And I'm also planning on, I'm sure I'll be building farms at some point. I'm not the biggest farm person, but I do know how valuable they are, so definitely be building them up like soon enough i want at least a stack or two of iron that'll be a good starting point and if i need more in the future then i'll come back i want enough to make plenty of shears and all the pickaxes i need okay i don't think there's any more iron here i think i saw some more over yonder over yeah there's some here click that that, well, that lava just became a complete lava cast that's kind of funny little baby lava cast oh if anything uh, i remember the days in newcraft one when brody would just do lava cast all over the place that was that was quite a time if you know two e2t is i'm sure you're well aware of lava casting if you just know general stuff like that but it's uh it's a whole lot of fun 
How we doing? Uh, we're all pretty much done. I probably don't need to do much more. We could probably work our way back, just because I know it'll take a little bit to get home. So I want to try and get on to some of our other tasks today. Well, I should be able to find my way back without having to use my my trusty methods here. We'll just wander around again. Today is a uh, uh, traveling episode. Yeah, traveling around, looking for specific things. See what happens. Is that terracotta? Wow. That is something. We're just gonna run on through. I'm not too concerned with the jungle. I got the cocoa beans already. And we're gonna look for that cave entrance. Hopefully we'll find it. Or at least one that will work. Now we're in the jungle. Get to see all the major exotic. Oh, okay. Jungle temple right away. Oh, well, I'll have to raid this. I'll take some arrows. We got some iron. Yay. <laughs> Rotten flesh. Well, I'll just take the iron and be on my way. I always forget. What is it that this is controlling? Secret chest. <gasps> Yo, with a diamond in it. That is very cool. Okay, hopefully we can find it. Well, we got a lush cave. That's that's something I wanted. Is that... A, oh, I think this is a... Oh, this is a new cave biome. Like, kind of a new sub-biome thing. Didn't even know Terralith added cave biomes. That's really cool. So, this is pretty... I mean, it's a... I've never seen this. I mean, this is definitely a cool cave biome. Just was hoping I could find some... Some of those... Oh, what is... What's the word? Some, some of those caves. <laughs> I feel like this is a bit of a bust. Uh... It was pretty cool to see the man underground mangrove or kind of like cave mangrove biome. That was cool. But we'll get out of this ravine. There's nothing nothing crazy here. Well, we'll just go up to the surface. Okay, we're going to... I think this cave might be a good one to check out. I also thought it was deep slate, but it ended up just being mud. Dangerous cave of nothing. Okay, well, we'll work our way back up to the surface. Hopefully be able to get a bit more of a chance at seeing some other stuff. Maybe hopefully finding that cave I've been looking for. I have no idea why there's like pink leaves here. This is kind of cool. We're go. We're doing a worldwide adventure today. I see the Farlands on the way. I'm kidding, of course. That's reserved for the Farlands journey. Uh, might be, might be a bus, might not be. Let's try and not die to the witch, which I'm trying not to, but this witch is also being very annoying. Where are you? You're over there. I heard you laughing. Witch is over there. Okay. Maybe I can... Oh. Oh, she got me. Oh, jeez. I hate this. How long does it last? Oh, it's only 10 seconds. It must have been hit multiple times. Yeah, I was, like, hit multiple times. That's why I was taking so much damage. Okay, I'm just gonna try and get out of here without dealing with this damn witch. Don't really need that many. To be oh. <laughs> there we go. Creeper revealed the diamonds for me. Very neat. Gave me two free diamonds. Okay, I got my one vein today. <laughs> ah, there we go. Is that wait? Is that a big patch? Oh, that's a big patch. There we go. Now, now for the because these diamonds. I don't want to... Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. A shot every time a creeper explodes. Holy, you're gonna be drunk by the end of this. Okay, enough of this. Oh god. Wow, look at that. Our first member joining. Uh, it's Conradian, of course. Very nice to see him online on stream. Well, he lives a little ways away, so you won't won't be seeing too, too much of him. I don't know. <laughs> There's just so many of these creepers. I'm just 
I've lost my marbles. Now I gotta try and outrun this creeper on frickin' mud. I this is cool and all. Don't get me wrong. This is a cool, cool ter train generation mod, but oh, it could be annoying. Spawner, golden apple. <laughs> Journey to the Farlands. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. I'll talk about it in the next Journey of the Farlands episode anyway, because I'm sure there's some different people watching that compared to this. But I I found a golden apple in Journey to the Farlands, and one of the quick charge. I'll take a name tag. That'll be good. But yeah, I did find a a a golden apple in one of the spawners, one of the surface spawners, which do exist in beta. So. Just so I let you guys know. I don't even know if any of you actually watch that. Any people watching Newcraft 4 here. But, yeah. Golden Apple. Something that takes apparently a while to get. <laughs> Just because it's pretty rare. Uh, not this way. There's more death this way. I'm just going to hold on to those. What do I want to get rid of? <laughs> Play the game. What do I want to get rid of? Uh, this I can. I don't really need iron anymore. Oh, I'm probably going to come to regret that. Two music discs, guys. Come on. Uh, I'll play a little bit, but then I'll probably be AFKing while I do Journey to the Far Lines. I won't stream that. I'll probably stream it another day. I'll see. I don't want to commit to anything right now. I don't know what I want to do just yet. Whoa. Look at this. This is crazy. Well, bubble columns and everything. Other than go home and AFK. So this has been fun. Um, thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.